You're at the Swane University of Technology and in particular at the TUT AI Hub. The TUT AI Hub is an initiative being driven by the Digital uh, Department of Communications and Digital Technologies. It's a national initiative basically aiming at creating impact in the AI space. TUT is one of four hubs uh, that have been established uh, driven by the Department of Communication. So the device comes with a lot of sensors to create stability for the device. Uh, the device needs to be able to interact with the external environment uh, for which it uses a number of sensors. So for example, you'll see on its feet, uh, it, it has sensors to sense the ground that it's on. It's got visual uh, sensors in the form of a, a video-based data uh, capture. And the spinning device you see is a laser sensor. It's called, a, it's a LiDAR uh, device, which is basically creating this visual representation of the physical world uh, that the, uh, the dog is actually seeing. And using that, it is then able to determine how to interact with that external uh, space. It's a learning platform. So our objective as a university is to provide access to students to interact with such devices that are able to collect data from the outside world. Uh, that's the first objective. It allows them to have a mechanism to collect data and make decisions about the environment. One of the uses of such devices is to have such devices go into areas that are of risk to the human. So you can think of mining applications in a fire hazard type of environment, any environment hazards that would potentially be of risk to the human uh, could be a potential application area because they are less susceptible to some of the environmental hazards uh, that you would face as a human, firstly. And secondly, it then allows you to collect data of this uh, environment to be able to then make decisions about the space. So fundamentally, if you look at from a technology point of view, they have a lot of similarities. They are basically uh, incorporating different movement uh, sort of resemblances to human. The advantage of that is then they have the ability to mimic some real world sort of activities that uh, a live subject like a dog or a human basically undertakes. In our ob objective, it is to come alongside the human uh, and assist the human with different activities.